Welcome. In this video, I'm going to do a playthrough of Aeon's Inn using the Ancients expansion. I'll be using a modified setup using three gems, three relics, and three spells. So for supply and gems, we have Jade, Burning Opal, Shining Fluorite, and for relics, Polyphase Turbine, Breach Extractor, Focusing Conduit, and for our spells, Dual Flash, Dust Caller, and Char. For the Nemesis, using the Wanderer. So for setup, place four dampening pylons into play, then each pylon suffers one damage. So they start with 10 health, so I'm putting them in play with nine health. So I'm using dice for those markers. And you can see, so when a player spends ether or money that I'll be calling it for the rest of this playthrough, to deal damage to the Wanderer, reduce that damage by one. And when a player causes this minion to be discarded, that player gains two money. So we've got those four in place with nine health each. So the Wanderer comes in with 40 health, which we have over here. And when he unleashes, any pylon gains two life or any player suffers two damage, or the Wanderer gains three life. And I won't be doing the increased difficulty, but some additional rules. Reduce all damage that is dealt to the Wanderer by abilities and player cards to one. So we're gonna hit, have to hit this thing 40 times, unless during any player's main phase, that player may spend any amount of money to deal an equal amount of damage to the Wanderer. So that's where we're gonna do our most damage. Except remembering that when we do damage this way, we reduce it by one for each of these. So we'll be reducing it by four with all those out in play. And then lastly, when a pylon is discarded from play, place it into the pylon discard pile. So that's our nemesis. So as for our breach mages, number one, we'll be using Q. And you can see on the back of her card, place the form token on the front of this mat with the destroyer form side face up. All gems placed and spells cast by Q are affected by the face up side of the form token. So we'll take a look at that here. So in destroyer form, when you play a gem, gain one less money to a minimum of zero. And spells you cast deal one additional damage. And then in our builder form, when you play a gem, gain an additional money. Spells you cast deal one less damage to a minimum of zero. So for each gem we play, we're getting additional money, but our spells are gonna do one less damage each. So on the other side, every gem we play is gonna be one less money, but each spell will be plus one damage. We'll start with two crystals, a change form, two sparks, and our starting deck will be two sparks, one melted radite, and two crystals. And our ability, activate during our main phase. If you are in destroyer form, cast up to two different spells prepped by any number of players and then flip over the form token. Otherwise, any player preps up to two spells in their discard pile to their open breaches and then flip over the form token. So we are starting in destroyer. And for our second player, we have Mazra. So starting hand, four crystals with her studies. Starting deck, four crystals with another study. And her research ability, destroy a card with Mazra in its name in your hand. Gain a card with Mazra in its name from the personal upgrade deck that cost three more than the destroyed card and place that card into your hand or return to your hand all cards with Mazur in their name in your discard pile. So you can see we're starting with four crystals and her studies. Cast, deal one damage, or cast focus your number three breach. And that breach, when we get that flipped over, will let us gain a charge on cast. And for Q, we've got two sparks, change form, Q flips over the form token, and two crystals. So let's get started. We've got our turn order deck. 
Give that a quick shuffle and see who goes first. So player two goes first. So just going over the player phase. So casting phase, we may cast any of our prep spells in our open breaches. We must cast any of our prep spells in closed breaches and place cast spells on top of your discard pile as they are cast. The main phase, basically we can play any of our cards. Draw phase, all gems and relics that you have played this turn on top of your discard pile. Draw cards from the top of your deck until you have five cards in your hand. So the main changes in this game for most deck builders is turn order is randomized. And when we run out of our main deck, we don't shuffle our discard pile. We'll just turn that over to create a new deck. So since we don't have any spells out, nothing to get cast. So we'll go ahead and prep a spell. And then we have four gems. So with that, we'll go ahead and buy two jades, cost of two each. Those go immediately to our discard pile. Then the gems we play, it goes on top of those. No cards in hand, so we'll draw five cards, another studies, and four crystals. So next player in turn order is gonna be the Nemesis. So on the Nemesis turn, from oldest to newest, there's all the effects of each minion and power card the Nemesis has in play. Basically all these are just shields for our main villain here. And then for the draw phase, we'll draw a card from our Nemesis deck. If it's an attack card, we resolve it immediately. If it's a minion card or a power card, we place it into play. And then resolve, depending on what the card has. So no triggered effects out here. Draw a card and we're getting another minion. So it's a Haze Spewer with five health and Persistent. This will happen the next time the Nemesis activates. Gravehold suffers damage equal to this minion's current life. Then this minion suffers one damage. So we'll put five health on that. And Gravehold starts with 30 health. So next player will be the Nemesis again. So Gravehold suffers damage equal to the minion's current health, which is five. So just like that, your city takes some damage. And then he suffers damage going down to four. And we'll draw another card. So Woven Sky, to discard, discard three cards in hand. Comes with two power. Basically every time the Nemesis activates, we'll take one off. And if we haven't gotten rid of this card by then, it will unleash and any player suffers four damage. So for power, I'm just gonna put two tokens on there. Nemesis has already activated twice, so we'll get three turns in a row, player number one going. We'll go ahead and prep a spark. We'll change our form. So now when we play a gem, we'll gain one additional money each. So this will get us two instead of one, same here. So basically we've got four money to play with. And with that, we're gonna buy two jades. They'll go straight to our discard pile. Then we can put these in our discard pile in any order. We'll put the crystals on top and the chains form next. Next turn, player number one. We have the option of playing a spark, but right now it's gonna do zero damage because all our spells are one less. So we'll just keep that there in play. And I forgot last turn. We still have one spell in hand, drew four cards, getting several more spells. From this, we'll gain two money. And from this, we'll gain one, and we may cast any player's prep spell. And we'll go ahead and use our spell, even though it's not going to do any damage, so we can get rid of a card in our hand. We'll use two of our money to focus here. That will allow us to prep a spell there for this turn. Actually, since we had three money, we'll go ahead and use this one. Prep it there. Go ahead and discard these cards. Draw up, we've got one in hand, we draw a second one. Then we'll just flip these over and get card three, four, and five. 
Then player number two will finish out the turn. We are gonna go ahead and focus our number three breach. That goes to the discard pile. Then we'll go ahead and put that into play. And we have four money there, to which we will finish, well, not finish off, but get two more jades. And end our turn, flip over, one, two, three, four, five. Drawing several gems. Then we'll take our initiative order here and give it a shuffle. And then get our turn order. So player number one can go. Since this breach is still closed, we have to use that, but that's gonna be zero damage. Then we are gonna discard three cards. So we can get rid of this power. Then we're still at plus one for our gems. So we're gonna have, basically each of these are three, so we've got six money to buy with. And we're gonna go ahead and get a dust caller. So cast, deal four damage. Any ally returns a card that costs zero from their discard pile to their hand. So that goes straight to our discard pile and then these will go on top. And then drawing five cards, two, three, four, five. Next player will be player number one again. We'll choose not to cast our spell. We're gonna play these two, so we'll get four money with that. We'll go ahead and put token down here for two of that money, and then buy the last jade. Then we're gonna change our form. So now spells will be plus one. So we'll gain zero money from this, but we may cast any player's prep spell. So this will deal two damage. Taking this down to two. And then we will prep a spell. And end our turn. Putting our cards, cards down in that order. Flipping over and drawing five. So player one is done for this round. Next, we've got player two. He's gonna to choose to focus or breach. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So since we've got seven, we'll go ahead and buy some Shining Fluorite with the Lettuce Gain three money. Place the next spell you gain this turn into your hand. Then discard down and draw five. Next turn, Nemesis. Gonna do two damage to Grave Hold here, down to 23, and then punch himself in the face. And we'll draw a card. So the players collectively discard four cards. So we'll have Q discard two Sparks and a crystal, and Mazra will discard a crystal. So next, Nemesis again. Gravehold takes the damage. And there's a Haze Spewer has taken care of itself. Draw a card, so channel focus, power three, the Palon in play has five or less life. Gravehold suffers three damage. Otherwise, Gravehold suffers six damage. So three tokens on that. Then last player is player two. She will cast a spell there, her prep one. And then with five money, gonna get a focusing conduit. So attach this to any player's breach. The end of that player's casting phase, focus this breach. When this breach is open, destroy this card. And then drawing five cards. So three plus two. 
and shuffling turn order. All right. So player one. We'll start off by doing two damage to one of these minions. Taking that one down to seven. We'll prep a spell and we'll get zero money. We'll put that out there and end our turn. Looking for five cards. Let's see what we've got there. Next player, player one again. So here we've got deal four damage, but it'll be five because of this. So we'll take this guy down to two. And then any ally returns a card that costs zero from their discard pile to their hand. So we'll just take a crystal. Go ahead and prep a spell. And here we may cast any player's prep spell. So this will do two damage. So one of these pylons is now gone. So when a player causes this minion to be discarded, that player gains two money. So that's not affected from our destroyer form. We'll play this for zero money. And then that will get us one, two, three. So we've got five money there, which we're just gonna choose to open our second breach with that. Discard our gems, three cards here, and two more. Getting two sparks and our chains form, which we knew was coming. Next player is the Nemesis. Take one of these tokens off, draw a card. So regenerative light, so power three, Pylons collectively gain five life or discard the top card of the Nemesis deck. Then next goes to player two. We're gonna focus our number three breach. So now when we cast a spell from here, we'll get a charge for our character. So we go ahead and put her studies down there. And then we've got one, two, three, six money there. And the next spell we gain this turn goes into our hand. So we'll go ahead and get the dust caller and go ahead and prep that. Discard our cards and draw up to five. Getting a bunch of gems. Next turn goes to the nemesis. So we'll remove some power there. Draw a card. Getting an Energizing Archon. When this minion suffers damage, any pylon gains a life. And Persistent Gravehold suffers two damage. So four health on that guy. And then player number two. Gonna go ahead and deal four damage to this guy. And when he suffered damage, a pylon gains a health. So we'll just have this guy go up to 10. And because this, and any ally can return a card to call zero to his hand, but our ally doesn't have any. And then for here, we're gonna deal one damage. Take this guy down to eight. And since we cast from here, we'll gain a charge. And as for money, we have two, four, five, six, seven. And I believe we're gonna take a breach extractor. So any player destroys up to two cards in hand or destroy this, grave hold gains three life. And for another two, we'll get another charge. Discard and draw five. Getting some focusing conduit and handful of gems and shuffling our turn order. So next turn goes to the nemesis. So we'll get rid of these. 
channeled focus will trigger. So Pylon in play has five or less life. We don't have that. So Gravehold suffers six damage. Down to 16. Then a new card. Unleash twice. Gravehold suffers two damage. So we've got three items to choose from. We'll go ahead with Mazra taking two damage. And then we'll let the Wanderer gain three life. Oops. Over here, 43. And Gravehold takes two. Down to 14. Next. Player one. I'm gonna cast two spells. Flip her form. So money now has an additional plus one. So we're gonna end up with a total of four and we'll just focus. Drawing five. Getting a handful of spells. Nemesis. So this will trigger. Palons collectively gain five life or discard the top card of the Nemesis deck. We'll just go ahead and discard the top card, getting rid of a Mage Ender. Then new card is going to be the Shield Archon. Prevent all damage dealt to Pylons. Persistent, any player discards their most expensive gem in hand. All right, player number one. These two sparks are gonna fizzle, doing no damage, since we're in builder form. We do have one, two, three, four, five money, so we can open up our number three breach. So this will be plus one on cast. So we'll go ahead and put a spark there. Dust caller over here, and another spark in play. Now we end that round, drawing five cards, getting four here, and our fifth. So a crystal. So one more money turn coming up. Player two. We have a focusing conduit, which we're gonna attach here. And then for money, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just gonna spend four for two charges. And then player number two goes again, getting five cards. So no spells, of course. We do have Mazra's studies. So we're gonna spend these four. to remove this one from the game. And then our two options for one that costs three more is we have her arc, deal three damage, focus your closed breach with the lowest focus cost, or deal two damage, any ally draws a card. I'm gonna take the ally drawing a card. And that goes to my hand. We'll go ahead and prep that along with dust caller. Then we have six money again. We'll go ahead and spend two to focus this. And then with this four, next spell again goes to our hand. We'll get a dual flash and go ahead and prep that. End of turn, drawing five. All right, getting another studies. And shuffle or turn order deck. And player one goes. Spells are gonna do one less damage. So this is gonna fizzle. This does two damage normally, so just one. So this guy will go down to 11. 
Then normally this does four, but it's just going to do three. Taking it down to eight. Then an ally returns a card that calls zero from their discard pile to their hand. So Mazar will get a crystal. Then because of this, we will focus. We'll gain a money from this. Another player can play their prep spell. We'll play her wisdom here. So we'll deal two damage. Taking that down to six. Any ally draws a card. So we'll draw a card. Now all our gems are plus one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 money. Actually 13 because of this one. So we'll get a dust caller. And Char, deal six damage. If this damage causes a minion to be discarded, any player gains two life. Discard those and draw five. We've been playing a while, still have done no damage. He's actually gained health since we've gone and we still have three other minions in play. But these two characters take a little bit to build up. So next in order is player two. So first, We'll deal four damage. An ally returns a card that calls zero from their discard pile to their hand. So he goes down to two. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and get a spark. Then we're gonna deal two damage, which will get rid of the shield archon. And then if this is the first time you've cast Dual Flash during your casting phase, this turn you may cast any player's prep Dual Flash without discarding it. So this is the only one that's been purchased. And of course earlier, you've probably seen this, when I cast that spell, should have gotten a token there. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six money. I'll spin that on three charges, so we've got four there. Then spin those. Get rid of this. We'll pick up Mazur's Ark and put that into play. Then any player destroys up to two cards in hand or destroy this and Gravehold gains three life. I'm hoping we're good for a little bit longer. We'll have her destroy two cards in hand. We'll get rid of two sparks. Discard and draw five. Next player is gonna be player two again. So we're gonna play this, deal three damage. Focus your closed breach with the lowest focus cost. And then since it came from there, gain a charge. Then we got nothing but money. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with that, I think we're just gonna get Two dual flashes. And discard down and draw five. So one, two, three, four, five. Next turn, player one. So no spells, focus, play a spark. Because of her form, or one, two, three, four, five money. Taking a dust caller. Then we're going to change form. Now we're on our destroyer. Money's going to be less, spells do more. Discard and draw five. And now two turns of hurt. Nemesis. Well, nothing to start with. So a card, power one, Gravehold suffers three damage, or any player discards a gem in hand, repeat this five additional times. So that goes there. It's a Nemesis. This goes away. 
Uh, we really don't want Grave Hole taking damage, so we're going to get rid of five gems. So one gem, two, three, four, and five. And shuffling. All right, Nemesis, three turns in a row. Nothing in play. Drawing a card, unleash twice. Player with the most expensive prep spell places that spell on top of their deck. Well, most expensive spell is a cost zero. But we are unleashing twice. I think we'll go with two damage over here. Then we'll take another two damage over here. All right, next. Four turns in a row. So Blazing Archon, Persistent, Gravehold suffers one damage, any pylon gains two life. At least we know we've got four turns where the Nemesis isn't going. 10 health, player two. We only have one card at hand since we discarded a bunch of gems. So we'll prep and be done. Draw on some cards. Player one. We're gonna focus and this finally gets open. This card will be destroyed. I'll just put this face down over here. Not that I'll be buying any more of those. Then four spells. Ready for a big damage turn coming up. Drawing five. And then player two's going. Deal two damage. Any ally draws a card. So this guy will take two. We're gonna get a charge down here and draw a card for Q. All right, we'll start with the Breach Extractor. Choose Q, any player destroys up to two cards in hand. Two crystals go away. We will prep two spells. Then we have four money, which we will use for a dual flash. Discard and draw five. So getting some dual flashes here. And player one. All right, so we'll play a spark, doing two damage here, taking him down to six. Then we'll play this, dealing seven damage. This damage causes a minion to be discarded. Any player gains two life. We will be killing this guy. So we'll get two life over here. And then six damage on this card. So we'll do this, taking it down to three health. And then five damage on this card which will take this guy out of play and give us two money. So we've got two plus zero plus one, so three money and four money. And we'll cast a spark there or prep it. So four money, we'll get a dual flash. End of turn, drawing five cards, so four plus one. We've got our chains form, which I don't know if we want to do anymore. And shuffle for the next turn. And we've got the nemesis. So no cards out in play. So chaos flail to discard, spin seven. Power two, unleash twice. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck and shuffles it. Then that player reveals the top two cards of their deck and destroys the most expensive card revealed. So two markers on that. Then player one. Dealing one, two, three damage which will get this guy out of play, giving us two more money. 
We'll put Dust Caller in play. Then play this card. We may cast any player's prep spell. We'll choose ourselves. This will do four, five, six damage. So taking this down to four. Now I get a zero cost card. We'll go for money. So we've got two money for destroying this earlier. That gets us up to zero more. So total of three money, which we will use. Put a token on down here and we'll go ahead and change your form. Definitely put that card up first. And then draw five. One, two, three, four, five. See who's next. Nemesis goes. Remove a token. Draw a card. So protective aura. To discard, discard two prep spells that each cost four money or more. Power three. Gravehold suffers four damage. Then we place this next to the Nemesis mat. For the rest of the game, when a player spends money to deal damage to the wonder, reduce it by one. So we want some expensive cards out in play. All right, next turn goes to player one. No spells. Put a spell there, spell there. We'll put these two spells in play, then we'll go ahead and Discard them to remove the protective aura. And then play a spark. So three cards, four, five. Player two. We're going to deal two damage. And then if this is the first time casting this, which it is, we may cast any player's prep dual flash without discarding it. So two damage here. Then we'll cast this one, dealing two, three damage, but I'm assuming minus the one, but we just care about two. That will get rid of this and give us two money. Then we're dealing four damage. But because of this, the abilities and player cards, it's just going to take one. So we're down to 42. But we do get a charge. We'll go ahead and spin two to get a fourth charge and then spend our four charges to upgrade this so we can get a six cost card. Our two options are Mazar's Inferno, deal six damage or deal four damage and destroy a card in hand. Or deal four damage and ally gains a charge. Or deal four damage and ally gains a life. Well, since our spells only do one damage, we'll go with her gift. And go ahead and prep. And prep this spell. We have another money to spend. It won't do any good, so we'll discard down. We still have one card in hand, so we're getting four. Getting a bunch of gems. Actually, I was wrong. That one money can do damage. So down to 41. So during any player's main phase, this is the main way of killing this thing, the player may spend any amount of money to deal an equal amount of damage to the Wanderer. And then player two goes again. So first, her spells. Two damage will equal one damage. Down to 40, but we can trigger this off, which will take it down to 39. Then we'll use her gift to have an ally gain a charge and deal a damage down to 38. It also gives us a charge. 
We'll prep a spell. And we have six money in hand. So six damage down to 32. So shuffling up. And we'll see who goes. The Nemesis. Yeah, I was hoping I could get rid of this, but not. So we'll unleash twice, which will just take two damage each. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck and shuffles it. So we'll go ahead and pick Mazra. Give it a shuffle. All right, then that player reveals top two cards of their deck and destroys the most expensive card revealed. So two cards. So we're losing our Breach Extractor. And then since it said reveal, I assume that just goes right back on top. And that's that. So next card, unleash twice. Player with the most prep spells suffers one damage for each of their prep spells. We'll have Mazra take two damage down to four. And have the Wanderer gain three life up to 35. And then Q has three prep spells, so taking three damage down from six to three. Next, got the Nemesis again. So power two. We're to unleash twice, the players collectively destroy the two most expensive prepped spells. So two markers, Nemesis has done this round, so we got four turns of our own. Player two, we've got need five cards. So we'll do this, which allows us to do one damage, trigger this one to do one damage, and give us a charge. Then we'll prep the dual flash. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. Taking it down to 28. Next, player one goes. So the dual flash will do one damage, triggering that one to do one damage. Then we spell for another one. And actually, nope, we're at minus one, so that one doesn't do anything. This one will come in and do one damage. And we'll go ahead and prep some spells. So we'll put this one down here. We have additional money here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down to 17. Drawing five. So we change form again, not that that's helping. Next player is player one. I don't know why I put that over there. So this will actually deal one now, since it's at a plus one. Down to 16. This does one, lets an ally draw a card. Down to 15. Ally will get the crystal. And of course the five cards I forgot to draw. All right, so for money, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five money. We may cast any player's prep spell. So the five money is gonna take this down to 10. We'll go ahead and use this to do one damage. Taking it down to nine. Then we'll prep a spell and change form. And draw five, so one, two, three, four, five. So player two. We'll prep a spell. Then money. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So taking it down to two health. Drawing five. Shuffling for turn order. And player one. We'll use our dust color for one damage there. Then see if we've got a money in hand. So it does get one less, but since we've got two, one is all it takes. So the wonder has been paid off and beat up. So we have defeated that. And that's the basics of how to play Aeons in with the Ancients. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough video. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.